All right. So, how to stop a horse in the softest frame possible? This is what I like to do. Now, as I'm walking along with my horse, my horse is walking, my seat bones are following the horse's movement. Not my pelvis being forward and backward at this, you know. I'm not driving my horse forward, I'm following my horse's motion, and there's a big difference between the two. Driving the horse forward is really noisy to the horse, it's distracting to the horse, and eventually the horse just tunes out your seat. It's better to follow the motion of the horse with your seat than to drive the horse with your seat. And there's a big difference in that. Um, while I'm walking, it feels like my hip joints are walking with that of the hind feet of the horse. And I also feel a rise, and a, so the rise and the fall of the sides of the horse as each step, hind step, is stepping under the body. One side of the horse will sink down and the other side will rise up. So I follow the motion of the horse. And so when I'm preparing to come to a halt, then I still my seat. So I'm no longer walking and following the motion of the horse, I still my seat. And that's, that is what the horse listens to, to stop. And if the horse ignores the seat being still, then what I do is I follow it up with a squeeze release, squeeze release of the reins as these feet, you know, as the, as the left foot steps under the body, there's a squeeze and release with the left hand. When the right foot steps under the body, the right hand squeezes and releases. The squeeze release alternating is saying to the feet, stop feet, stop feet, stop feet. And I have found that that has been far more effective in encouraging a soft transition to halt than that of using both reins at the same time and definitely better than pulling back. You don't want to do that. Don't pull on the reins. It's just a squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Because what you want is softness. Um, you definitely want your horse to stop. I mean, if, if you were in an emergency, there, that'd be a different matter. But here we're, we're trying to teach the horse to stop in a soft and relaxed way. So, so stilling the seat, followed up with squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, if needed, if the horse doesn't stop. So then, and then prompting the horse forward, then my seat, just my seat, not my whole body, but just my seat, will follow the motion of the horse. I found that to be the best way to establish a relaxed, soft, and round square halt. Thanks for watching. Visit naturallygated.com.